Greetings, this is Steve McKenzie here. Retired, former longtime member of the Microsoft Visual C++ team who's, I've been off of Windows for years now. I'm, I'm really into Unix type operating systems and um, I really enjoy um, the actual Unix operating systems over the Linux for various reasons which I won't get into. Um, and so what you have here is a website that's being hosted by a free BSD jail. And so uh, a jail is a very lightweight, um, similar to a container, uh, only there's no virtualization layer as in a um, virtual machine. A container is that way too, although uh, containers are more heavyweight than a jail. A jail is more like a fancy cheroot where you're basically setting the root directory for the client and it's confined to this jail and it shares the host kernel. And so uh, the result is something that's quite lightweight. You can, of course, the operating system that uh, is only FreeBSD um, for a jail. And so, but still you can run, you can host a website, um, you, know, you know, with uh, Apache, you can, uh, with MySQL, with PHP, and you can, uh, uh, so if you are a, a hosting company, you can, set up a very um, modest machine like what I'm running here, a 15-year-old machine with 16 gig of RAM and just 240 gig hard drive. And I could probably, who knows how many I, uh, of these jails I could run. You know, it's um, just confined by that sort of resource, but I could easily run 100 on this, this machine. Hardly uses up anything at all. This website, um, is about one gigabyte. It's a half a gigabyte. And so anyway, this just runs in my home, you know, my private network. And so anyway, this is just a, um, a, I went and this, but I don't have those resources there. Um, and so on. Anyway, it's just a website. So it's no big deal. So that's so this particular jail uh, just has Apache running on it. And then I copied this website into it. Here's another that has more features. So this has Apache running on it, a web server, and it has MySQL and PHP. So it uh, you can do searches using this PHP front end um, and so the PHP is doing queries into the MySQL database that's running on this particular container as well and so um, let's take a look at the jails themselves so this is the jail host like I said it's just a modest 15-year-old computer, it's a um, i7-2600. Uh, I think it's running, uh, it's running, it's a quad-core with hyper-threading, so it's eight threads, but still it's an uh, older machine, 16 gig of memory, like I said. So let me get into the uh, super user. Okay, one thing nice about these jails is that you can log into them, so to speak, by just ex executing a shell, or you can ins you can um, execute commands from outside of the jail as a host. So that's a good way to install the packages, right? So with BSD, it's package install is the command for um, similar to uh, aptitude in Ubuntu or Pac-Man in Arch Linux. But to install to a jail, you say this dash J, and then you specify the jail by name. So jail zero is one of the jails on this system. And then you can say install, and then whatever 
a package you want to install, like Apache 24, which is already installed, so I'm not going to run it, but it would it would install it. Um, so let's go ahead and um, log into so G exec jail exec, and we're going so you jail exec, and then you specify the jail. Jail zero is one of my jails, and then what command? Well, let's just um, let's execute the shell. Okay, so now we're in the jail. So what what's here? So all of the files, all the directories you would see, like you would see in the host. Um, so you have the full file system here, but in reality you are. Um, you are partitioned off, so I'll exit the jail. And so really where the jail exists is here. Z root, I'm running ZFS. Uh, so it's a FreeBSD host running ZFS, a zettabyte file system, which is a uh, software RAID system. So I have three hard disks that are striped for redundancy and the uh, ZFS is a great feature that's been around for a long time. It's well baked and uh, is very good for this type of scenario for web hosting for redundancy. So anyway, jail zero uh, is here on the host and you can see um, oops, you can see that file system here but to the user when you're running in the jail you wouldn't know that you're underneath uh, whack z root whack jail zero that's so you're confined so this is the host view of it so anyway back to um, um, to look at the jails you have the jls command and there they are and so notice that um, you've assigned these IP addresses and a host name to them and here's the the root path from the host perspective so these jails get a, uh, if you reboot the host, they get set up by um, the host, and you can specify the parameters in your um, RC config, which is FreeBSD main configuration file. So here you see that um, we have the list of jails. I have two jails made, jail zero and jail one, and they can just start up in any. Um, any order and that uh, ZNF is, ZFS is enabled, that's the Zettabyte file system, but the jail is enabled, so the jail service is started. So you can, um, wait, I'm way down here at the bottom, you can uh, restart your jails using a service restart, or you can restart just one of the jails or all of the jails. Uh, so you can control that from the host here. So uh, let's see what else I wanted to show. Um, oh yes, so I copied in that big website that's a half a gigabyte and each one of these jails has a uh, Apache installed into each jail. Uh, jail one has Apache and MySQL. And so if you take a look at, it's not using much resources at all. So you can see that um, you know, this Zettabyte file system, it's 204 gigabytes total in size that's striped between three hard drives. But so the system, it's only 2.4 gig is used. And that's counting, you know, the FreeBSD install, uh, all of the other um, jail installations that have the partial operating systems installed, and all of the... Um, Apache instances and MySQL instance and so you can see it's less than one percent is used just out of those two jails and so like I said you could keep adding jails um, you can add a lot of jails and it wouldn't use much resources at all and so then um, how do you create these jails so this isn't really a tutorial but I'll make this bigger it's pretty simple I mean you set this environment variable and have a point to the directory you made to, uh, that's going to be the new root for the jail 
one way, in the, so they give you a, a few ways to get the FreeBSD bits into the jail uh, root directory. One is to mount an ISO image if you wanted to do that. Another way is, and this is the way that I think is the best way of doing it, is you um, set up these environment variables. You get the uh, version that the host is running, for example. And then you just, um, basically what you're doing is you're fetching, you're fetching the um, tarballs of the operating system, essentially. And if you just want the base system, you can extract it here into your um, a jail root, or you can uh, install everything but the kernel, which is what I've done. And so it iterates through here and extracts uh, extracts these uh, tarballs. So you just have to fetch it once, and then you have it sitting in your host, and then you can deploy these every time you do a jail. Or you can build it, but that's very time extensive. I don't know why you'd want to do that. And then here is your um, how you um, set up your jail. Now this is on the host, so let's get the host up again. Um, so let's show that vim etc. rc dot config. Oh, I'm sorry, it's jail config that we want. Yeah, so at the top here we have everything we're going to do that's common. And then th these are for each instance. And so we assign these um, IP addresses. And so you have to bind these IP addresses to the actual um, resources that are available to your system. So if you do a IF config. So this shows you that um, we have BGE0 that's active. Make sure it's active because this one here, EM0, has no carrier. So, uh, so you um, can assign multiple IPs to one of these interfaces. So for example, to do that, you're going to say IF config. Um, and so we'll pick this first one, BGE0, because it's active. And you're going to say INET alias. And then you put in whatever you want there. So 198.192.168.1.4. Then you have to put this 32 here. Um, it's always um, it's always an alias. Um, and so if I hit enter there, it's going to add one more IP address that I can uh, assign. And another, after you do that, though, you're going to want to, you're still going to want to copy your um, uh, WAC Etsy forward slash uh, resolve.config over to the jails um, just as it is on the host. And then um, in each of the hosts, uh, RC configs, you set up all your environment there as if you were inside your own operating system. Um, and so anyway, um, so yes, if I rebooted this host, it would start up all those jails. Each one of those jails are going to go through their own init process. Or if I'm just running the host, and of course I don't want to reboot my host, I can just restart those jails using the service command line. Um, so I think that's all I needed to show. A um, few little gotchas if you really did want to set up um, the MySQL and the PHP is make sure that you get the PHP MySQL module. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Just copy over that resolve file. Um, okay, I think I'll end the... So anyway, jails, yeah, really liking jails, work well with the Zettabyte file system, works great on old hardware, hardly takes up any resources at all, um, and so give it a try.